What's up, y'all? DJ Triple Nine. Uh, got my stand to scratch the setup today. Uh, not downstairs in the basement in the studio. Going under a little construction, as you probably saw some from uh, some of the previous videos. Uh, now it's at a point where it's uh, probably not the best place to be to uh, mess around with the music. Anyways, let me show you my setup. So as you can see, I've got the uh, stand to scratch here. Uh, I picked these up at Musicians Friends for about 150 bucks. I did buy a pair of them. Uh, nowadays, you can get them with the SCS.3M. Uh, I don't have that. Uh, the mapper I made today only works with these two devices and only works on PCs. Um, all my output is going to be done on the Maya 44 USB. No time codes today, so I'm only using the output as you can see there. Uh, pretty easy to set up so uh, I won't be going into that uh, in this video today uh, everything's plugging through a Newmark M3 analog mixer nothing too fancy here uh, everything comes out of the Maya USB into this thing and this outputs to my uh, Rocket Studio monitors uh, we're gonna be running on a MacBook today but we're using boot camp running uh, Vista Ultimate uh, you could probably get away with using Vista Home. I like Vista Ultimate because I can pump up the RAM and kind of do some other things I wouldn't otherwise be able to do with the other versions of Windows. Uh, but you go with what you like. The instructions I'm given today, perfectly uh, usable for the Sony, for the Toshiba, any type of uh, Windows-based PC. I'll be given instructions based on Vista, but I will also reference some of the uh, similarities to XP so you can set it up there as well. Virtual DJ 6 runs on either platform, as will my mapper files. First thing you're going to want to do um, is go to the website. You can either look up the uh, Stanton to Scratch mapping files on the Virtual DJ forum, or you can just simply go to my website and download them directly at www.dj999.com forward slash Stanton underscore to scratch dot zip. Everything's underlined so you can't see that underscore, but trust me, it is there. Uh, this is not case sensitive. This is on a Windows server, so uh, you guys can uh, feel free to punch it in however you want. But uh, make sure you download that file. Once that's done, you're going to want to unzip everything, and you're going to want to dump the XML files into your documents folder. In the case of XP, you're going to want to go to your user profile. Uh, and then go under Documents and Settings and go under My Documents. Uh, under Vista, you're going to want to go into Users, Your Username, and then Documents. Very important that you go to your user account as that's where Virtual DJ installs things. Uh, I'm going to go into My Virtual DJ folder, which is under My Name. And then under Virtual DJ. So there you go, you see you have a couple of files there. The ones we're concerned about are devices and mappers. First we're going to go into the devices file and you are going to want to stick in your Stanton to Scratch .xml into that folder. Um, dump that in there, there's nothing fancy you need to do beyond that. Drag and drop, I'm sure you guys can figure that out. After that's done, we're going to go into our mappers folder and we're going to want to drop in to scratch 999.mapper or I'm sorry space mapper.xml triple nine obviously because of the name uh, anyways you're gonna wanna throw that into your mapping file and uh, then we're pretty much ready to rock once that's done uh, go ahead and start up your Stanton to router as you can see I've got it here stock install no preset go ahead and plug these bad boys in They kind of go through their little warm up as you can see. Stuff starts to light up. Once they are ready to go, uh, I'm going to select generic dual off the router. Once that's complete, you will notice this cool little effect. Go ahead and zoom out here. See, I kind of got this half circle going on on both my units. That's just saying that it recognizes that they're there. Go ahead and uh, scrub the virtual scratch wheel on those things and we're ready to rock. Leave the router open. Uh, you can minimize it if you want. 
I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Virtual DJ. Pops up pretty fast on my computer because it's pretty kick-ass. But anyways, uh, we're gonna want to go into Config, and then we're, then we're gonna want to go into our Mappers tab. Now, if the XML is in the right spot, specifically the device one, uh, we'll be able to hit the drop down, and I'll be able to select, as you can see, Staten to Scratch map through the router. Obviously, because we've taken our SCS.3Ds and we're mapping them through the router. Um, if you want, you can change up some of these settings that I have here. A couple things I've done different than uh, what was stock on version uh, 5.2 is I've made all my cues hot cues. Um, I set up a cue. I want to use it. I'm not trying to uh, get it staged. I know where it's at. I see it as things progress. I want to just go with it. So uh, I've done that. Also, I've made uh, the play file, which is normally play pause on the old version, uh, play stutter. Um, I like to use stutter more than I like to do that. Uh, and then also, instead of using Q to knock you to your closest Q, I'm using it as a pause stop button. Uh, I like being able to use pause and stop and reset. So uh, anyways, those are the major changes I've done. Uh, once that's done, I highly recommend you go over to the option screen and tweak your jog wheel sensitivity. I'm at about between 30 and 40 percent. Uh, that's where I'm happy with the performance that I get on these things. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and hit OK. You should be able to drop your songs now. And as you can see, I've got my finger. Let me zoom out again. I'm going back and forth on this thing. Into the scrubs. I can also go into uh, trigger mode. Start my cue, play stutter, hit my stop, stop pause, back here, go back into vinyl, as you can see I can start wiggling stuff back and forth again. I'm going to go ahead and drag the uh, same song over here, you see I'm running on Cue stop, put my trigger. Same functionality yeah. on both. Now that scared me, Dad. <laughs> my little three year old there kicking it. Anyways, so uh, that's all there is to set up the stand and the scratch on version 6. Hope the mapper works out for you guys. Feel free to shoot me an email dj at dj999.com. Practice, enjoy, love what you do. And uh, I think I'll throw another setup here just to uh, have some fun. Anyways, hope you guys have some fun as well. Hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, enjoy. Catch you later.